Pen one. Base camp. Flying in. Apple boxes. Call sheet. It's like goop. It's like snot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Media. Today, we have another industry insight video for you guys. We're going to be giving you guys a rundown on some common terms that you guys might hear on set, um, some names of equipment, some kind of like lingo that you might hear. Just basically a general breakdown of some terminology that you might hear if you're going to be on a set anytime soon or if you're new into acting or, or just interested. crew member or if you're just interested, right. Be sure to subscribe if you guys are new. We have plenty of videos like this. We have a whole playlist right here if you guys want to check it out. Lots of other types of videos, pranks, challenges. Right. So check out the channel. Turn on post notifications so you guys know every time we post. And leave a like before you go because uh, it's this is be already going to be a banger. So let's and get let's get into it. All right. So the first term that we'll be telling you guys about is 10-1. So this is a common you know, word you'll hear or number you'll hear. And basically all it means is that you're going to the washroom. Um, so they'll often call this out on the radio, on the walkie talkie. If you know, an actor has to use the washroom right before they start to shoot, or if a crew member or the director or somebody is going 10-1, they're just going to the washroom. That's all it means. The next term we're going to be talking about is back to ones. This might sound kind of self-explanatory, but a lot of people use this to just explain to go back to your first positions of the scene. A lot of people say, you know, first position, ones like there's many different ways of back saying to it the top. but back to ones just means go to your first position of the scene and this this with. applies to actors and crew members as well yeah the next one is flying in so this term is often used um, again over the walkie-talkies and that is basically just letting you know that an important person or item or anything is getting flown into the set or sometimes even into the shot while they're shooting you know I've heard this term used for uh, let's say Jaden is flying the set right now. Like they'll say that over the, the He's radio. He's on the way. They're on the way. Or, um, you know, he has a problem with his wardrobe and somebody's flying in, the wardrobe is flying into the scene to fix it. Like that's, that could be all it means. So the next term is slate, which is something you guys might see in a lot of our videos. This is a slate, um, it's kind of a cheap version, but basically what it is, it's for the editor or post-production in general. It just helps to organize all of the takes that everybody's doing so that when the editor looks looks back at them, he knows this is this take, this is this scene, this is this camera. So you'll see here like it has like production and obviously that's mixed media, role, scene, take. There's a director, lot more information on a, on a real, real one, one. But um, you know, this one's got a pretty decent one for, you know, if you're doing short films or anything. But either way, uh, that's basically just what a slate is. Yeah. Number five, craft. So this term is very important on a film set. Uh, the craft is basically um, a word for caterers. Like that's that's the thing. food. The food, right? There's often a craft a craft truck or craft a craft table. table, or you know sometimes we'll, people will even refer to it as craft lunch because you know it's lunch. It's made by the craft people sometimes, or they'll have other caterers come in either way. I know in the States they call it crafty sometimes as well. So if you're in the US, you might hear crafty or craft, or if you're in Canada, you might hear crafty or craft either way. Interchangeable terms, they both mean the same thing. Just the caterers or the people who take care of your food, basically. So the next term is base camp. Base camp is basically the collection of trailers or little areas that everybody hangs out when they're not actually shooting. So a lot of the time actors will have their trailers there where they just kind of sit and hang out if they're not shooting. The uh, hair and makeup trailer will be there for everybody to get ready. Wardrobe, uh, a lot of ADs will have their own trailer. And it's just kind of like home base. That's right. pretty much all it is. Base camp. That's basically all it is. The next one's on the day. So this is a very common term, uh, especially from a lot of crew members or you know the assistant directors or even the director. Basically all on the day is, is let's say we're shooting something and we're missing a prop and he'll just say, oh, we'll have it on the day. Like when we actually roll the cameras and we actually do it for real, not just a rehearsal or a blocking or a run through or anything like that, um, we'll have it on the day. We'll have it when we actually do it. So on the, on the day, day is not necessarily on the day of right. the, the filming. It's, it's, it's just, just uh, you know, 
at the time. At the time that we actually roll the cameras, we'll have it. That's all it means. So the next term is second team. Second team is kind of just like the second team of actors. So a lot of the time, if they're doing a rehearsal or they're setting up lighting or anything like that, they'll have a second team stand in with people that are of similar height, maybe similar skin complexion, similar hair, whatever, so that the lighting grips and everybody can get organized and have the camera all set up so that when the actors step in, they don't have to stand and wait there for everybody to get set up for them. It's a pretty cool job. Number nine, wrapped. So, if you guys have heard anything of film, a lot of times, <laughs> this is a very good word at the end of the day, um, wrap just means we're wrapped, we're done, we're wrapped up, we're gonna wrap it up now, everyone's going home, sometimes, you know, they'll say we're wrapped in total, or a person's, or a person's wrapped. wrapped for the day, or for the show, or for the movie, or even they'll say, you know, the movie is wrapped, like we've wrapped the whole thing, right, so I it just means that. it's coming to an end, you're done, you're out of here, it's over. When you're wrapped for the day, it's kind of nice, especially if you've been on set for, you know, 12, 14 hours sometimes. It's nice to hear that we're wrapped. So, um, so yeah, that's basically all it means. So number 10 is going to be our rapid fire section where we have a bunch of little terms or equipment that we're going to just say really super quick so that you guys get the gist of what it is. Right. So the first term is apple boxes. There's a lot of different types, but pretty much all it is is a step stool that people put on the floor, maybe if somebody's too short, so that they can line up so that the camera looks a little it's bit It's usually made of wood. We'll show you a little picture of them right here. Please. Just to adjust people to the height that the camera operators and the directors want them to be at. Lots of people also sit on them. Next thing is monitors. A monitor is basically all it is. Same thing as like a computer monitor, and they'll have them set up and linked to it, the camera, so you can watch a live feed or you can watch playback of the scene that we just recorded or the blocking or anything like that. Mics. There's a ton of different types of mics. We could do a video on that if you guys uh, are just interested. Mics. Yeah, sure. But there's so many different types. There's labs that go on the actual person. There's boom mics that hang over your head. Sometimes they put mics in actually the props or the furniture. Like shotgun mics, the, things like that. The yeah. stuff around them. Um, and it's just to pick up the sound. Next, so the cameras. So there are, they go by the, kind of like the military terming with the Alpha Bravo Charlie um, Delta. So that's A camera, B camera, C camera. And the reason they'll have all these cameras is to get multiple sh shots and multiple angles at the same time. Um, so you know, they'll have A camera and B camera running. And like we said earlier with the slate, they'll, they'll slate either A camera or B camera or C camera, D camera. So snot tape is pretty much just a tape that everybody uses for a lot of different things. It's a very lot, common a lot of the time, it's used to stick the labs or the mics onto the actual actor, and it's just this kind of gummy, sticky, putty stuff. Yeah, it's not actually tape, but it's like goop. It's like snot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And last is call sheet. So your call sheet is basically just you know a piece of paper. They usually give it to you with the sides, and it's just telling you you know your call time. Uh, where you're shooting, when lunch is, all sort of information that you'll need for the whole day of shooting. And it, it generally has like even the weather and things like that, the estimated wrap time, things like that. And it just gives you a whole rundown of how the day is going to go. Um, scene order, things like that. And yeah, so that's our video for you guys on Film Lingo 101. <laughs> And yeah, if you guys enjoyed, let us know. We could always do a part two. There are so many terms. So many. So many terms that we could let you guys know um, that people don't really talk about a lot. Or if you're interested in any other film related videos, definitely leave it in the comment section. We'll get another industry inside out, out for you guys. Um, but in the meantime, we hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one. And. Mm -hmm.